All right, so tonight's lesson is lesson 80, and we are learning about prime and composite numbers. So a prime number is a number with exactly two factors. Number with exactly two factors. And those factors are one and itself. When we talk about composite, a composite uh, number is a number that has more than two factors. A number that has more than two factors. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill out this chart and um, these are the numbers we're going to talk about, just numbers 1 through 10, and talk about their factors and then talk about what type they would be. Would they be prime or would they be composite? Okay, so their factor. Uh, the first one is 1 and it's neither prime nor composite because it's just 1. So we're going to actually skip that one and go to number 2. And the, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Remember how we did our upside down rainbows? That's what you're doing when you're trying to find the factors of the numbers. The two numbers multiplied together to be to equal your number. So we have our 1 and our 2 if we were doing our upside down rainbows. And so because following our rules, a prime number is a number with exactly two factors, 1 and itself. So if we have 2 and we're looking at here, we have 1 and the number 2 which makes it prime. So I'm going to put a P for prime. All right, the next, our number three, if we were doing our little upside down rainbows, one and three. Those are our two factors. So because I only have two factors, that makes three prime. Now I have four. Okay, so I do one. One times what is four? What's my next number? Two. Can two fit in? Yes. Two times what? Two. So my factors are one, two, and four. Do I have exactly two factors? No. Do I have more than two factors? Yes. So that me makes four composite. All right, five. I have one times what gives me five? Five. So that is going to be prime. I only have two factors. Now I have six. One times six. Does two fit in? Yes. How many times? Two times what? Three. I'm in my middle. So I have four factors, so that makes it composite. Seven. One times seven. Nothing else goes in. Prime. I have eight. 1 times 8. Does 2 fit in? Yes. 2 times what? 4. So here I actually have 4 factors. That would be composite. 9. 1. 9. Does 2 fit in? No. Does 3 fit in? Yes. 3 times what? 3 times 3. And that would be composite. 10. 1 times what? 10. Does 2 fit in? Yes. 2 times what? 5. Does 3 fit in? No. Does 4 fit in? No. So 1, 2, 5, 10, which makes it composite. 9 is tricky. I think you kind of assume that it's an odd number, so it's going to be prime, but 3 also fits in. So be careful. Sometimes numbers will look like they will be prime, but they will have another number um, that will fit into it to make it composite. And remember, composite means that they have at least three factors. So most of the time, except for your 2, an even number is going to have more than two factors, so it's going to be composite. Okay, so the first three prime numbers are two, three, and five. What are the next? Okay, so we know two, three, five. What are the next three? So if you were to write them down, so let's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What I can do is kind of go through and say, all right, these are, you know, a bunch of numbers. I need to find the next three com uh, prime numbers. Well, if it's even, it's going to have more than two. It's not going to be prime. I'm going to go ahead and cross out all my even numbers. Okay. And we know nine. Nine's not because a three fits in. Um, Eleven. Okay, so we know for sure seven because of our chart. 11, one goes in, 11 goes in, any other numbers? Nope, 11 will work. What about 13? One goes in, 13 goes in. Does any other number fit in? Two, nope, three, four, five, six, seven, nope, so 13 is. What about 15? One goes in, does two go in? No, does three go into 15? Yes, five times. So that cannot 
B prime. 17. One goes in, 17 goes in. Those are our two. Does any other number fit in? Nope. So that's also going to be prime. Okay, now we're talking about an array. An array is a, a way to show um, your numbers. For So we have 12. An array is a rectangular arrangement of numbers or objects into columns or rows. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So if I were to look at the number 12, If the video just moved a little bit, it was because I paused it. Um, okay, so we're talking about arrays, and it's a rectangular arrangement of numbers or objects, and they're going to be in rows or columns, so I wrote that down, go ahead and do that. Okay, so what you need to do first is find out your factors. Okay, so if I'm doing 12, I have 1 and 12, then go to my next number, 2. 2 times what gives me 12? 3. Okay. Um, oh sorry, I'm thinking had six. And the next number, does three fit in? Yes. Three times what? Three times four. Okay, so these are my factors. And when you do this, you use the, um, the different pairs to draw your arrays. So if I wanted to do my, uh, my first one, I have one and 12. So I have one row of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is um, 16, or sorry, 12 by 1. Okay, so if I wanted to do my next one, um, I would have 2 and 6. So I would draw like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this would be 2 by 6. And then my third one is a 3 by 4. So 1, Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is a three by four. All right, so it looks like that. And that's how you would do your arrays. You use the pairs of your um, factors to draw them. Okay, so the next one is draw three arrays for the number 16. Use different factor pairs. Okay, so do exactly what we did before. Find out your different factors, find your pairs, and then draw them. Okay, so if I have 16, I'm going to do my, I'll do it over here, 16, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, does 3 fit in? No, does 4 fit in? Yep, 4 and 4. Okay, so now I'm going to use these pairs to help you um, draw your array. So you would draw 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen would be one. Sixteen by one. And the next one, two and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four by four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I use dots, um, but I would use squares because they're easier to see and you can keep them more in line, especially when I'm checking. Okay, the next one, your last example says, list factors for 15 and 17, then determine which number is prime and which number is composite. Okay, so if I have 15 and I want to find my factors, I have 1, 15, does 2 fit in? No. Does 3 fit in? Yes. 3 with five, does four fit in? Nope, so I'm good, these are my factors. This is going to be composite because I have more than two. I'm gonna look at 17. One fits in, 17 fits in. Does two, does three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Nope, so this is going to be prime. And your lesson practice is this. Find the first 10. So we've already found the first six, now find the first 10 prime numbers.